They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me. They won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. Yeah. Oh. Uh, balls. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him, until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests, in the kindest of terms, that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie gets in this to me? She and I have never corresponded. Yet now she writes me directly. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? After everything we've shared? Of course not, Lena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. Deepest apologies, my lord. Uh, okay. I tried to stop him, but so, the rumors are true. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Nice. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Fuck your off. mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Herringford. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fuck your soldiers. Fuck you. Roderick, please. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your better. Kneel on and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Roderick, please. I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. No, no, you can't have it. The other half of the iron. No, you no. can't do that. Kissed I know what Ramsey said. Kissed any part I'm saying something else. As of today, I 
harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. No, fuck you. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Fuck it. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? <laughs> I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I'll have my revenge. I hope so, for both our sakes. Nobody happy. My lord. Are you well? I'm going to kill that man. men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. It was Finn's fault. I, I think he might be dangerous. I, I pressed the wrong need button. Dangerous men I pressed for what's the wrong coming. button. I meant to press the circle. I pressed the wrong button. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. Might be right. He said worse about me. He said he fought for the north with the foresters. You were there at the twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Oh wow! Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? We fought as best we could, but it wasn't enough. The phrase the cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the phrase command River Run and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. Those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. 
What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Same first time I saw it. Sorry. Sorry. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? Winter is coming. I want to fight. You'll have your chance, don't worry. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. Man's Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapists. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Frostfinger? Where do you think you're going? At this time of night. I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. Thanks! Cool. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. 
What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. That was brutal. You like this view? Here, you put it on. Okay. Replay this thing. I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs>